Crazy Chef. Vibe. Big, big, big vibe. So you ever went to a restaurant, right? And they give you either a salad or a burger or something just a sandwich. And they give you this nice pickled red onion or something. And you're thinking to yourself, like, these are some really great onions, right? So today we're gonna unlock the farm for these nice, delicious red onions. Crazy Chef, big vibe. Keep locked into the vibe. Keep locked into the vibe, right? Today we're gonna unlock the formula for those delicious red onions. And what we're gonna start to do is we're gonna start to unlock the formula for delicious things that you get at the restaurants, right? So if you wanna make those delicious pickled red onions, all you need is like 10 red onions, even five, you could put it in like a mason jar, right? You need some vinegar, you can use white balsamic, or plain old white vinegar, right? So vinegar, water, some thyme, some allspice, some crushed red peppers, some brown sugar, some garlic, right? And you're gonna put a pot on, you're gonna put water, vinegar, depending on the size of your container, you'll know this amount of juice you need, right? If you need further information, hit me up in the comments and I'll work the recipe out with you, right? So, key ingredients when I make pickled red onions, right? Because, you know, my vibe is not necessarily someone else's vibe, right? So, my onions is already red, but I'm going to kick it up a notch. What I take, I take some fresh beets. I slice those up when I slice up my onions, right? I don't slice my onions too thin and I don't slice them too thick. I get like a medium slice, right? You can make it into rings or you can make it into julienes, right? So you slice up your onions, slice up your beets. I put some thyme, some scallions, some onions. Well, we already have onions. I put some garlic in there, some crushed red peppers right some brown sugar right a little bit of salt i use that a malayan salt because i'm trying to be as healthy as possible right and you make that come to a boil and then you make it sit you chop everything up and then once you chop everything up you want to give it a good mix you want to kind of separate it a little bit right so give it a good mix separate it a little bit and then what you want to do is you want to just dump it in whatever unit you're going to use for, you know, to let it sit there. You're going to put it in that unit and you're going to just let it sit. Usually you want to let it sit for like a week, right? You want to make your beets come out. You want to make your brown sugar come out. And you want to get all your spices in there, right? You want to get all your spices in there and then once you've acquired that taste you've acquired that look you've acquired quality that's when your onions will be ready and you can put these onions on some fish you can put these onions on a salad you can put these onions on whatever dish you know what's good with these onions too is you could put it on that uh, pulled pork sandwich right crazy chef big vibe big vibe uh hit that like button if it's your first time here hit that red subscribe button today we're unlocking that red onion type of vibe right and you could leave this in your refrigerator for like six months 
the older it gets the better it gets you just want to make sure you choose the right container you choose that right container you can have this you can use it whenever you want you know friends come over use it you got some uh family coming over it's football season thanksgiving you whip it out you know yeah so as we said you know it's the these those delicious onions right if you want to make these onions you want to make good things you want to keep your kitchen alive keep in tune to the channel crazy chef big vibe like share subscribe to the vibe crazy chef big 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 vibe